This is the Snowbiz Now Entertainment Network. Hello and welcome to Action Equals Life, the series. Our purpose, expressing the truth of our lives and transforming the planet. I'm your host, Nicholas Snow, and this is the companion series to the website actionequalslife.com. With me on the show today, I have a very important guest who is getting worldwide notice for who he is in the world. On the show today, I have His Royal Highness Prince Manvendra Singh Gohil, the Yuvraj of Rajpipla. And we're going to talk to him today about his activism in India. Hello, Your Royal Highness. How are you today? Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So, tell me a little bit uh, about what you're doing right now in India, and then we'll, we'll back it up a bit and look into some of your history. Yeah, uh, basically uh, I'm involved in the, the gay movement, uh, fighting for our rights, for empowerment uh, for, the, uh, for the gays. Uh, and I started uh, this uh, organization called uh, Laksha Trust, which is primarily working for uh, HIV AIDS uh, uh, prevention amongst the, we call it the MSM community. And uh, we, uh, along with that, we are doing other issues as well, like uh, mental health issues, uh, handling the legal issues, counseling, and a lot of other services. And uh, when you first came out, it was rather controversial and it got international attention. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how that came about. Yeah, well, uh, I have lived a life of suppression because being born in a royal family involved a lot of uh, following norms and regulations and a lot of restrictions and in, born in a very protected atmosphere. So um, uh, that was one thing which didn't give me enough freedom to even express my uh, or uh, experience my sexuality. And uh, as the years went by, I felt that uh, I have to come out of my cocoon. And uh, when I got to know my sexuality and uh, I was uh, even ready to fight for uh, uh, the cause, uh, is the time when I thought that, uh, yes, there, there is a need for India to start discussing the topic of homosexuality, which has been hidden, has been a taboo and a stigma uh, and a discrimination attached to it in our society where uh, homosexuality has been accepted in the past and uh, even in royal families it has been uh, patronized. <coughs> so uh, with that uh, thought in mind, I thought uh, let me openly declare myself because I was very sure that it's going to cause a big earthquake in our country. And it did. Yes, it uh, it was much more than earthquake, or much more than I expected, and uh, not only within the country, but it traveled uh, uh, international as well, and uh, it was. Uh, it, I got invitations from a lot of people abroad to come down and talk about this issue, including Oprah Winfrey. Yes, Oprah Winfrey was uh, one of them, and uh, in fact, I happened to be the third Indian to be invited by her, and uh, that. Uh, kind of uh, opened up a lot of uh, uh, issues in India, especially amongst the homophobic people. Uh, because they like Oprah, she liked you, so they had to like you? Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of Oprah fans in India and uh, a lot of people who had this mentality uh, of uh, being homophobic were actually uh, impressed by the fact that uh, Oprah had invited me, so they thought that, no, there is, there is some substance to this invitation. Um, tell me about the organization, your NGO. Yeah. Uh, Laksha Trust was the first and the only uh, community-based organization to work for uh, uh, gay men on their issues in Gujarat uh, state uh, from where I belong. And uh, uh, it is being funded and supported by the government of Gujarat. And we have uh, three centers uh, in, in Gujarat. Uh, that's the Surat, Baroda, and Rajkot. And so far, we have uh, provided services to 17,000 men, MSM. And uh, uh, we have uh, three centers, and we, we have our own clinic and drop in centers, uh, counseling services. And uh, uh, even it has won the prestigious uh, UN AIDS Award in the year 2006. Uh, and uh, we have uh, even had linkages with other NGOs in, in the country and 
uh, we are right now uh, informing uh, India's largest uh, network of NGOs called uh, InfoSim. Uh, that's the integrated network for sexual minorities in which Lakshya is playing an important role. Now, uh, one of the things that just happened with you is that you were invited to England to be on the reality show Undercover Princes. Yeah. But one of the things that came out of that is that uh, one of the people from the show was giving was was being given a tour by His Majesty the Maharaja, your father, yes. who acknowledged for the first time on camera that yeah. you will in fact become king. Yes. Were you concerned that he would somehow skip you, or or that you would somehow be robbed of your uh, royal title? Uh, well, I first of all never expected that uh, uh, this kind of question would be asked to him uh, about uh, the ancestral throne and am I uh, occupying it. And when it was asked, I was a bit uh, worried what would be the answer. And uh, I was quite surprised when my father, His, His Highness, very uh, categorically stated that uh, this throne would be used by the prince uh, after uh, His Majesty is no more and he would definitely be, be coronated on this. Um, I had the privilege of writing one of the most comprehensive stories about you that's been published. Yeah. And one of the things that you talked about at that time was your thoughts about perhaps adopting a child yeah. one day. Mm. Uh, which is would be common among Indian royal families that did not, for whatever reason, have a biological heir. Yeah. Is that still part of your plan? Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, I have declared in the newspapers that I would be adopting, and that's primarily for continuing the uh, lineage, the family lineage, which is more than 600 years old. And uh, uh, as uh, I've stated earlier, uh, adoptions have been quite common in, in royal families. And I wish to adopt somebody from the extended family so that he is familiar with the culture and with the, uh, with the norms of royal families. Um, in this particular segment, we really don't have a lot of time, but I would like to conclude with you talking a little bit about um, how your subjects first sort of shied away and then returned to you uh, as you came out? Yeah, uh, I, the, when I came out, uh, the, it was as bad as uh, burning my effigy in the fire and protesting against me and the, the public. Uh, they, they declared that he should be stripped of his title and his humiliation and shame to the family. And now the, 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 the scenario has absolutely changed. Now the people have accepted me for what I am and uh, they have even publicly stated that they salute me for what I'm doing uh, because uh, for them uh, it, it's the cause which is more important than my, my own sexuality. What is ahead for you? Uh, well, uh, there are a lot of plans uh, uh, ahead of me. Uh, one of them is that I'm planning to make an old age, old age home for uh, gay men uh, in my town and uh, also a hospital or hospice rather for uh, uh, HIV positive uh, people is under pipeline. Um, I like to conclude these uh, episodes by asking my distinguished guest, and you're certainly very distinguished, to give the viewers some advice about what they might do to, to have a more fulfilled life. Uh, well, I would like to just uh, uh, make the statement to the people, to the general people, I would say that uh, please accept us the way we are. And I, I take it you've completely accepted yourself? Yes, I have. Well, um, I have been honored to, to meet you, to know you, to be one of the people that gets to spend uh, a friendship time with you. And uh, you're certainly one of my heroes and uh, one of my role models. Oh, thank you. That's nice of you to think of that way. It's very much my pleasure. I want to thank you, our viewers, for tuning in to Action Equals Life, the series, expressing the truth of our lives and transforming the planet. Go to actionequalslife.com for more episodes and to contribute your own perspectives. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll um, end with His Royal Highness and, a, and a, some sort of Indian farewell. This is the Snowbiz Now Entertainment Network.